came in second in the tech skill. He was fourth, second, and sixth on the three stages. As we mentioned, second in the world championship is only one athlete beat stage two. Trains out of the Movement Lab in Ohio, and it says here that this past month, he got an 18-foot warped wall. Nice. 13 years old. Very impressive. Yeah, he definitely has a lot of power behind him. And we saw that as he just bounded right through both the trampoline to the ring slider and tire dash. We need to see what he's doing. There we go. Now there we're going we go. live. <laughs> Got to grab live that television, board. everybody. Ninja new team trying to pull out the sword and get to that buzzer. He does. Great. We need to see his time, though. Unsurprising, though, that he does hit that buzzer. Now we'll take a look at the replay. Great stuff on those Lachey links. And it looks like his time is going to be 38.99 seconds, putting him a second behind Michael Sherman and currently in second place. So far, the athletes in the thumbnail graphics are four for four, winning their respective competitions. Wow. I just okay. want to throw that out there. That could be a huge commentator jinx, but Nathaniel, <laughs> of course, is one of our top ninjas here, and he is looking for that finish. He's looking for that top four place to get himself into the Premier Finals. As he lines up skyhooks, oh, moving with such ease. I love watching these back-end ninjas as they just fly through obstacles like skyhooks with no problems whatsoever. Ninja new team, a very strong young man, a very likable young man also. We've seen him a lot around the Midwest circuit. Well, Nathaniel is making light work of this course, and he's moving through with one of the fastest times that we have seen here today. This this might be on track for the fastest time so far. Yeah, you only need a buzzer, but these athletes want the win. They, yeah, they, they didn't come here for second place. They've all come here to win. They're all competitors. And he looks to static it as he comes into the area 53 with around 57 seconds left. This could be an incredible run here, Alex. I am so excited to see if he pulls this off. In order to get first place, he's going to have to do this in about 15 more seconds, which might be out of the question. However, a clear is definitely not. He has two shots and plenty of time to take both of them. Yeah, it looks like he's just going for the clear here. I wonder if he's going for the static or if he's going to go for the pop. It looks like a pop. for the hop. There he goes, choking up and gets the top of that wheel. Reaches behind him, spins around. Hits and the buzzer. manages to get... What an incredible... Incredible, incredible run, Alex. That, again, just proving consistency there. It was a calm, smooth run. There were no issues. Um, and we had full confidence that entire time. I guess you didn't jinx it in the end. Oh, he's going down. What? The, the course <laughs> is over. He hit the buzzer. You don't, you don't have to flex on this. He, he, he's not tired, Alex. He's, he's ready to go again. <laughs> I honestly... He's just getting warmed up. So, sometimes people are like, oh, stage two and stage three are so close together. They only have two hours of break. Ninja Muti could 100% do this course. So. <laughs> yeah, In all seriousness, though, top fun. two, he is moving on to the Premier Series Finals and has guaranteed himself a podium. That is absolutely incredible. And it's, it's amazing to see with that second grab on Area 53 how easy they make it look once they grab it. But from all the competitors we've seen fall on it, you know how much that spins and how perfect of a grab you need.